And I think the worst prop firm out of all these prop firms, and I really hate to say this, but it actually has to be. What's up guys and welcome back to Gerald Trades, where trading is kept real for an exchange of time. Now if you're new to this channel, maybe you've actually seen some of our videos before and you've not yet subscribed, consider subscribing because I post Forex related videos every week and you'll be notified when I next post. And I know we're so close to that 1K subscribers, we're gonna hit it very soon. And guys, before I actually jump into the video, I have something really important to tell you guys. So somewhere in this video, I actually have an announcement for you guys. So it's actually very important you watch this video right through to the end because you're not gonna wanna miss out on this. Now today in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the top three prop firms you guys should avoid. And obviously I'm gonna try to be as fair as I can. I'll try to give positives where I can. So be sure to stay tuned right through to the end of this video as you're going to want to know this. Now for those who might be new to the prop trading world, and actually wondering what the hell is a prop firm. Let me explain that for you guys very quickly in a very simple way. Prop firms are basically companies that fund traders that can trade and maybe those traders don't have enough capital to trade for themselves and basically they take a cut off whatever profit you make and they cover your losses. Now there are different funding models that I could actually go into detail and explain to you guys but that's not the aim for this video. Instead the aim for this video is to let you know which prop firms you should most likely stay away from because as we all know there's new prop firms coming out left right and center and it can be confusing to know which one to trust and believe me guys after you hear what i have to say about some of these prop firms today you're going to be moved so stay tuned and of course like i said i'll try to be fair i'll try to be positive where i can so let's jump into this first on the list is no other than the new prop firm that just came out and started providing their service like as of like a few months ago and they go by the name of Traders Prop. Now I know, if you've watched some of my previous videos, you might be thinking, well, hang on there, Gerald. Did you not make a video about this prop from saying that they were potentially good? By the way, if you guys actually haven't watched that video, it's important you go watch that video right after this video. So why the change of heart now, Gerald? Why are they now on the list to avoid? Well, guys, the key word in that potentially good sentence was potentially, guys. And to be honest, I saw I had mixed emotions about this prop firm from the start. So reason number one, I'm gonna keep it quite light. And as we go deep into the reasons, we'll get, you know, we'll scale it up. But one of my main things about this prop firm is that they're still so new, guys. Like, I mean, they've literally just came out. Not even, now hasn't even been three months, I think. Maybe it has, but no one's actually received a withdrawal or no one's actually become funded yet so it's kind of hard to say so we'd rather be safe than sorry number two is that i feel like 90 percent of their funding models just don't meet the cut for me guys they really feel like they're more self-centered models like they have more to benefit out of those models than the traders actually do and i just don't like that about them i feel like as a prop firm you should put your traders first and most of their funding models just don't do that guys and that's the sad truth and i know they've just brought out a new funding model and i'd love to share my opinion on that but that's a video for another day. So be sure to actually hit that post notification button so you get notified when I drop this video. Okay, so for point number three on why you should actually avoid traders prop. Now, a little bird told me this one. There's actually something shady about their address. Apparently on one part of their website, the company is registered in India and in India, Forex trading is illegal as I've heard. So how can you actually have a forex company registered in a place where it's illegal oh yeah another rumor is that apparently they aren't even registered now i'm not gonna go super detective on them so what you guys need to do is that go be the sherlock Holmes and let me know what else you find out in the comments by the way guys all this registered stuff is all merely speculation i'm just telling you what i hear through the grapevine because you know i feel like you know me and you we're best friends you know come on chico me and you man like i really shouldn't be telling you this but i told my source that you're super cool and you won't tell us so by the way guys if you guys actually get value from this video be sure to hit that like button and if you actually want to see more videos like this from me be sure to hit that subscribe button because i post videos like this every week and you'll be notified when i next post now on to the next prop firm but i think this one could easily be the worst prop firm i think after you hear the other prop firm you guys can actually make that decision for yourself on which one is worse. now this prop firm is actually called 
called click funders and i've actually been hearing some bad things about this platform for a while so i thought let me go on the website and see what's so bad about them now it turns out their website is actually not open at the moment and it actually has a coming soon page there well i personally think they should just stay away and never come now let me actually explain why these guys are so bad so they basically say you can earn as you go but for example you actually have to first get over a 10 percent requirement for you to actually start earning so say if you actually had a 100k account for you to actually even start receiving any payments you actually have to get over 10 percent first and then you can start receiving those payments they don't allow overnight trading i know right it's so silly and in order to overnight trade you need a special account which actually costs more money and even if you want to do that you actually have to trade really small lot sizes so Mm, yeah these guys are super shady and guys it actually costs like five grand for their largest account and that largest account you might be thinking if it's five grand it best be a 2.4 million account well no guys it's a 240k account and it costs five grand to get it plus you actually have a limited lot size you can actually trade on the account yeah so these guys are just a shambles and if you think about it, if they do ever open up and come back unless they've improved guys just stay away from these guys because we all know in this prop trading world a lot of hype starts coming whenever like a new funding company comes so this one you just know in advance when they relaunch just to stay away unless they've improved now for the final prop firm and i know most of you guys that have been watching my stuff will actually be able to guess this one but I just personally think these guys are a super joke and it's not nothing personal against them but they just suck the prop trading guys and i wouldn't go anywhere near these guys with a 10 foot pole like literally i'd rather swim with sharks nah actually i take that back i can't even swim <laughs> and no hey no funny jokes i know what you're thinking it's not that i can't swim i'm just terrified of sharks but don't tell anyone that but guys where do i even start these guys don't even have a metric system so basically all their traders have to be like human calculators every time they take a trade with them because they have to track everything for themselves their customer services are blismal like if you send them a message guys don't expect a response for like 10 years well not really 10 years but you get what i mean they say you have a certain high leverage but turns out you actually might not people have had problems with payments and processing just a lot of things that are just shady about these guys to me and my personal opinion stay away from them guys now i know i'm actually speeding through these prop firms but that's because i've actually made a much more detailed video about these prop firms previously so i've actually put that in a playlist so if you guys actually want to watch that and want more information about these prop firms i'll link that playlist here and i'll link it right at the end of this video so be sure to go watch that after this video finish. now for that special announcement i wanted to tell you guys is that it looks like my forex funds might be the prop trading challenge i might be doing the giveaway on guys and it's actually really close between that and the ftmo so if you guys actually want to be part of that giveaway and actually want to receive more information when that giveaway is happening be sure to hit that subscribe button because i will be doing that giveaway when we get to a thousand subscribers and we are so close and i'm forever grateful to each and every one of you guys for that so let me know in the comments which one my forex funds or ftmo i have not yet finalized it because it's so close so i'm still open to that decision so early, earlier it was our funding talent my forex funds or ftmo so people have actually chose more of my forex funds and ftmo so we've sort of taken um funding talent out of the picture so let me know guys in the comment now if you actually want free daily analysis and free weekly analysis be sure to go join my free telegram i don't charge anything for it i'll leave a link in the description below go watch my playlist on the videos i made about these prop firms like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video